Hello everyone, uh, my name is Brian Otten, I'm the Marketing Manager with the Greater Wasp Chamber of Commerce and um, this is another in a series of videos that we, we are streaming live uh, and recording um, that, are, that feature the 2022 Small Business of the Year Award finalists. And so today I'm down at WOW uh, along the riverfront and uh, I'm visiting with Evan. Evan, thanks for, uh, for joining me, yeah, go box, big game tonight. Um, tell me, tell me a little bit about WOW. Oh wow, was never supposed to be wow. It was uh, started back in 2010. A uh, little birdie told myself and my father, Bill, who a lot of people in the community I'm sure may know, that they were, the city was looking to redevelop the riverfront and that's what started, jump-started the creative process, I should say. And wow originated as several different ideas before that. And uh, eventually we came to the conclusion that this was the coolest idea been going ever since so got open in uh, late 2016 so and you know I've got I've got two high school age kids um, they've they've been able to enjoy wow you know since you opened in 2016 um, I guess what makes what, what makes your venue unique um, I think it's uh, our people uh, most importantly I think our management and our staff are exceptional and uh, taking care of your people is the priority and uh, the old saying goes, take care of your people and they'll take care of your business. And I think, uh, I think that rings true here. Cool. And so the, um, the application for the Small Business of the Year Awards, it, it isn't as, um, as, as sort of strict about the, uh, I guess it's not as time consuming yet from a business standpoint to complete as what it used to be. But what we find a lot of time is when a business has gone through the process of completing that application, and they kind of get a chance to look back at where they came from and, and look at the ways that they've grown. Um, they, they tend to kind of learn something about themselves. Did, did, was that the experience for you? Did, was there anything that kind of stood out as you went through that process, looked at your history, um, in terms of kind of looking back and, and how you've grown? Well, you, well, pandemic made everybody learn how to adjust and learn how they can operate better, because you had to, right? Um, being in extraordinary circumstances can produce some extraordinary results, in my opinion. Cool. And um, and so how did you guys adapt here during the pandemic? Well, we learned we could do the same amount of business with a lot less people, which is can be stressful, but also it, it can help you at the same time. And you find out who who the people you really uh, that are really committed to you are. Sure. And um, as far as and right now you're you're you're. Uh, up operating 100 percent like normal, yeah. And um, uh, you know the uh, there's a lot of people that play a role in sort of a businesses coming to fruition and then succeeding. Is, is there anybody that you want to sort of acknowledge while we're while we're chatting here? Uh, yeah, I'd say three people um, specifically my uh, my mother and father. They've uh, been very been very good teachers and role models throughout my life, and uh, I've learned a lot about the business and to be a good uh, ethical operator and uh, how this works. And uh, a shout out to uh, Ann Worth. She used to be the uh, uh, be on the Economic Development Committee. She really had our backs when we were pitching to the city council to uh, get some get some help uh, getting this place open. And she was uh, very supportive and had our back the whole time. So thank you, Ann. And, and we know Anne at the chamber. Um, she she is uh, one of the people that works as sort of the facilitator. Well, she is the facilitator of our immersion project. So, um, actually, if you're watching out there and you're you're a chamber member, you've been wondering about what the, what's going on with the immersion project. Uh, that that program is going to come back next September, uh, and Anne, uh, we hope will will be a part of it. She's a great sort of resource for us um, and the perfect uh, ambassador to to take folks that are new to the area around town and give them sort of the, the full background of, of what's going on in Wausau. Um, well, thank you, Evan. Uh, any, anything that, that we didn't touch on in our, our conversation here that you'd like to mention? Uh, I guess uh, it's a tremendous honor to be recognized among uh, these other operators, and uh, we're looking forward to the, the awards ceremony. So. Cool. Sounds good. Speaking of the awards ceremony, it'll be held on Tuesday, May 10th, uh, 4 p.m. out at the Hilton Garden Inn in Ramon. Um, if you haven't reserved your seat for that event, I encourage you to do so. 
You can do that on wasachamber.com. And um, it's part of our business week programming. And so, um, you know, as you probably have, have seen over the years, the chamber um, really tries to put together uh, a special week of events. Um, we have an advocacy related event on that Monday, which is free to members. Um, we have a, um, uh, a workplace culture event uh, that's free to members uh, that's on Wednesday. So sandwiched around the Small Business of the Year Awards are those two events. And then Thursday, uh, obviously, is kind of our Super Bowl day with the, um, the uh, Business Expo out at the Convention and Expo Center. Um, we still have a few booth spaces available. If you're interested, um, you can, uh, again, visit the Chamber site to do that. But Evan, thank you. Uh, appreciate the time, and uh, we'll see you in a few weeks.